I have not spent this much money at Trader Joe's in a very long time. I spent $250 at Trader Joe's and I went to two stores because they didn't have one of the items I was looking for, which is brand new. So I'm gonna jump into this two bag, $250 Trader Joe's haul and make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me make more content for you, all Trader Joe's based. So let's jump into this two bag, $250 Trader Joe's haul. All right, um, this looks a little bit different today because I have some things already made. So what I made from last week, and I cannot find the box, I made the new mango chicken skewers, um, or they're the, they're like the, oh, the jerk chicken skewers with the mango chutney. So I just made those. Um, and because of the time crunch, I just put them in the microwave. And this is what they look like. They are a bit, yeah, when you microwave any meat, it's not gonna be as good as if you put it in the oven. So I would recommend, they're really, really good. They're salty. They taste like something you would get at like a stand or a food truck. Um, but I would recommend putting them in the oven versus the microwave, they're really good. And then I went by and I had to go to a second Trader Joe's store because I wanted to get the new Simply Eggless plant-based eggs. They're GMO, dairy, soy, gluten-free, nut-free. Um, and I am a huge fan of just egg. I have a mild egg allergy where if I eat eggs, it's like I took Benadryl so I get really sleepy. So I always just opt for the eggless eggs or just eggs. So I made these just to see like how they compared. And I actually made like a whole plate of them, but I ate it all, um, which I didn't mean to do. But I would recommend cooking them longer than you think and then adding salt and pepper and then maybe the chili onion crunch. But they're, they're so good, so good. Big fan. Just Egg has a bit of a, a I, I wanna say like a chewier texture, but these are still really, really good. Um, so I did like this. I picked up the Kettle Cooked Olive Oil Potato Chips. I'm gonna take a bite of those. I can't believe I spent $250 today. I, I have not spent that much in forever and it's still fit in two bags, but it's cause I got some alcohol, which we're gonna sample. Mmm, these are really good. Potatoes, olive oil, and sea salt. This would be the perfect chip to put inside of a sandwich, which I do want to make a sandwich because I still haven't had lunch yet, which means if I have the alcohol, I'm going to end up being somewhat drunk um, on camera. So I got the peach black tea candle. Smell it. it. smells really good. It smells really good. It smells very peachy. I'm actually going to put these on my patio. I like to use these like scented candles outside because then you just get a mild smell where if you put these inside, I feel like it's a lot of peach smell. So if that's your thing, then definitely do it. But I like to, you know, set them out. I picked up some veggies, some broccoli, sugar snap peas. I recently reorganized my refrigerator, so I'm very excited because now I have like, it looks like a Pinterest refrigerator. If you open it, there's like, I have labels, like labels, like veggies, fruits. I, I made a leftover drawer, which is really fun. This is kind of buggy, it's not straight, okay. Um, I picked up some cherries. Those would go into the fruit drawer, but even though it feels like a vegetable. Um, and then I also picked up organic romaine hearts. It's grilling season. And if you've ever grilled romaine, oh my goodness, it is one of the best things in the entire world. Just grab an entire head of romaine like this. If you want, you can spray a little olive oil on it, but usually whatever you're grilling, like leaves like burger residue or whatever, and you grill it and then you, you cut it, it it's, Phenomenal. And then you can top like a little bit of your favorite dressing. Um, ranch is always a good option. When is ranch not a good option? Okay, put that there. For the doggies, I got them some treats because they've been good. Summer cocktails, it's like that time of year and grapefruit juice with a little bit of mezcal or vodka on some ice with a little bit of lime, salted rim, or you can make a margarita with grapefruit juice. It's just refreshing and their grapefruit juice is 100% grapefruit juice which I really like, and grapefruit juice has less sugar than, sorry, um, grapefruit juice has less sugar than regular, um, like orange juice. Um, so it's, it's a good option if you're trying to limit sugar. It still has a lot, but like when you mix it with, you know, the alcohol and, like you could do soda water with grapefruit juice and you'll be good. Um, I picked up some skipjack tuna because I wanna make a tuna sandwich with this and then the artichoke spread, which is in a separate drawer, but, I love these packets because they're just the right amount of tuna. If you get the canned tuna, it's like way too much tuna. 
And then what do you do with it? Do you put it in the fridge? Do you eat it? It's just like way too much for a sandwich. So I like these because by the time you add in everything, it's a good size for any sort of sandwich. Um, these are nice. The sparkling green tea with pineapple juice beverage. I really, really like these. 10 calories, 2 grams of sugar. It's a great refreshing drink. Not too sweet. Very, very good. And green tea is awesome because um, where green tea caffeine get, wakes you up, it, I believe it has L-theanine in it, which keeps your blood levels like regular. Whereas if you have like coffee, it'll like spike your, um, the caffeine will spike you and give you like the jitters. So I just love anything green tea. Bottom line. Um, I bought another bottle of this. I had it last night. We made Aperol Spritz. So a little bit of rosé, some Aperol ice. And then we used one of those um, new pine berries from Trader Joe's, which is like the half pineapple, half strawberry strawberries um, on the rim. And it was so, so good. I would revisit that any day. Picked up two onions. This one's having a bad onion hair day. It's a little wild, a little wind, wind brushed. Um, some cold brew, which I kind of want right now. But like my rules after 3 p.m., I can't have cold brew because then I'm cold and awake. These are brand new. Organic pineapple chunks. So this has organic pineapple, pineapple juice. We're gonna try it. What I was thinking, I don't know why, I'm just like in a cocktail mood. I was like, oh, I can drain some of this and pour like tequila in it and then maybe some um, jalapenos and then use that as a bit for a mixer. <laughs> so let's try this. Mmm. Mmm. There is no way that was gonna be bad. It's so good. It's fresh. It doesn't taste like if you have ever had canned pineapple, that can be like a little the texture can be off. But these were really, really good. Crunchy. I still stand by putting a little bit of tequila in here and some jalapenos and then using it as a mixer. Still stand by that. Um, I picked up some coconut smoothie. I got two of these, drank one of them in the car. They're really good. The name's a bit concerning because it's organic coconut smoothie, which is blended young coconut meat with coconut water. Something about that disturbs me. I think it's the young coconut meat, but it is good young coconut meat if you've ever had it. And then I picked up, I, I've been meaning to try this, the Borzen Dairy Free. Let's just see what the, I, a lot of you guys have commented about this to me. I just want to see if it's any good. It smells like chivy and garlicky. It's got coconut oil, canola oil, I don't love that, modified potato and cornstarch. Mmm, okay. I get it. This would go really good. Um, I think on just about anything. A sandwich, you can make a sandwich with some chicken. Mmm, that is good. Wow. You can put this on a bagel. That's shockingly delicious. Okay. Nice work, Borson. Nice work. What else do we have? Um, my favorite, jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. Love these. These are OG. Get them all the time. These are brand new. Papadums. Lentil, chickpea, and crisp. I got them the other week with my sisters. Um, I think I have to try and get into this. Wow. Really has an interesting smell when you open the bag. The, something about it smells fishy, which the last bag didn't, and that's kind of concerning, but it might be the cumin. Sometimes like cumin has like a weird scent, especially when it's, it's all bagged up. These are good. They taste like lentils with cumin. Like if you've ever blended yentl, yentls, lentils and added it and like baked it, I know that's what you would get. You can also air fry blended lentils, by the way. Very good. These are tasty. Now, I like them because they're unique. I don't know if they would be like a go-to chip for me. They'd still be just like a chip, but they're very, very good um, for what they are. Like, I wouldn't replace my, for instance, I will always buy these. I probably wouldn't always buy these, but these are like a good, like fun item to try if you like the flavor of cumin. You know what that is? Bell peppers, raspberries, zucchini. Oh, 
Got some dough macro bars. Uh, and then I got this watermelon face mask, which is supposed to be a dupe for the Lalanji, I think that's the name of it. Um, and I have used it in the past. I do like it. I actually got this one because I like the size it is. It's like a bit smaller um, and I can travel with it. So this is like overnight face mask. So it's super hydrating. It's got plant drive squalene. Put a layer on it at night, go to bed, wake up, and your face will look like a watermelon. No, it'll be hydrated, very hydrated. Um, I got some limes and a lemon. Really got a pile starting right here. I don't know how this got in my bag. Oat oh, chocolate bars. These are the, the vegan chocolate bars. And then I picked up some automatic dishwasher detergent packs. It's been forever since Trader Joe's had these. And I had to like venture out and I bought some from like a market down the street and they're just not cutting it. Um, okay. I picked up these. I haven't had these in forever. The almond butter almond cups. These, just really letting myself go, buying a bunch of alcohol and chocolate in this haul. <laughs> Whoopsie. These are really, 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 really delicious, and I've almost broken a tooth on these when I keep them in the freezer, but when you keep them in the freezer, they're so good. But the tooth I almost broke was a veneer. It wasn't a real tooth, so if you got a mouthful of real teeth and you put these in the freezer and you bite into one, you should be fine. Just watch out if you have any veneers because you could break, it, break one of them off. That being said, I'm going to eat one. Should be okay. These are like, one of, so one of my friend's daughters has, um, like she's obsessed with these and she calls them golden cupcakes, which is really cute. So I'm gonna eat the golden cupcake. Mmm. I honestly don't know how they can make something this delicious. I would like to buy just the almond butter that's contained within these. Mmm. Mm. Almond beverage, salad, salad. This is a cereal salad because it comes with an assortment of whole grains and fiber and berries. It's the Raisin Bran version from Trader Joe's Organic. This isn't for me, this is for someone who's been residing in my residence. I picked them up some Raisin Bran. It's the healthiest one I could find at Trader Joe's. Um, <clears throat> flaxseed meal and rolled oats. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with these, but I've got something really special coming for you. So depending on my energy levels after tonight's live, I'm gonna try and film this. It's also, if you're watching this live, um, tonight's bingo. So I'll be hosting Trader Joe's bingo. So you have to join, there's a bingo highlight. That's where you can tap to come play. Um, this is the artichoke pest antipasto. I, I said that would be good if you mix it with wild skipjack tuna. Maybe some red onion. Add that to your sa your sandwich. It's very very good. Um, here's the jalapenos that I want to put in the new pineapple chunks with the tequila. Um, I also picked up some taco seasoning just to have on hand. I didn't know if I had any left. There's if this island was smaller. If this island could speak, if this island was smaller, it wouldn't fit much else. Um, some more go macro bars. And then I picked up, these are the things we're gonna sample. Um, Haku vodka, which the reason this caught my eye is A, it's Japanese. It's a Japanese vodka. And Japanese, when I was in Japan a couple years ago, they take their alcohol process and the beverages they make very seriously. It's also 100% distilled from Japanese rice where a lot of vodkas are made from like um, a base of different like wheats. So things like barley, things that you could be allergic to if you have a gluten allergy or sensitivity. And so in Japan, I actually had a, it was, it was, it was a sweet potato based whiskey that was really, really good. Um, I believe that's what it was. Now I just have to see if I can open this. I'm gonna try this. I'm actually not a big vodka drinker. But if it's Japanese, like I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it not chilled. I'm gonna try it in an espresso cup. Because that's how often I drink. I don't have any shot glasses. I'm gonna smell it too. Oh, that's not bad. It's really smooth. Charcoal infused. This is this is where it gets troubling because hey, just how beautiful is this bottle? So I'm gonna slam it. 
I actually want to sip it and then I'm going to slam it. Or do I just throw it back? This I feel like I'm in college right now. Here she goes. <laughs> I take it, I slam it, and then I'm speaking Japanese fluently afterwards. Wow, this stuff's really good. Okay. Arigato gozaimasu. Mmm. This makes me want a martini. That is actually very good. Bamboo charcoal filtration. It is kind of expensive. It's twenty six dollars, but for the quality, I, I bet this would cost like fifty dollars at any 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 other grocery store. Grocery store. I don't even know how to say the word grocery because everything's Trader Joe's to me. Um, hak, 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 haku translates to brilliance and white, inspired by the hundred percent Japanese white rice and bamboo charcoal filtration that is used to deliver unparalleled soft brown and subtly sweet vodka. That's good. Oh gosh, I almost knocked over this thing. Okay, I'm gonna just like clean my palate with some white tea with pomeranch juice. Okay. I actually do have one shot glass. That's the only one I have. Now we're gonna try mezcal. I love tequila, I love mezcal. It, it wakes me up, it makes me feel good. If I drink a good mezcal and you know, this for 4th of July, we made um, watermelon ice cubes. We just blended up watermelon, and I'll post a reel about this. I just need to edit it. But we blended up watermelon with some cucumber, mint. Uh, I have to post this video still, but it was mint, cucumber, watermelon, blended it together, and then we put them in big ice cube trays. And then for 4th of July, we got these cute cocktail glasses, put in the big ice cube, and then you put in a shot of whatever your alcohol was. So we were using mezcal, which is why I needed more mezcal because we may have emptied the bottle. I need a knife. Um, so you do the ice, the ice cube, then you do a shot of whatever alcohol you want. So we were using mezcal. And then we put some spindrift on top, whatever flavor you like. I think I did the raspberry lime because I like that it's pink. Um, and it was so good because the, the watermelon ice cube kind of melts a bit quickly. And then it all just like, it just gets better and better while you're drinking it. It's, and it's fun, super fun. What, some sort of parental lock is on this. Don't worry, I will get into this. Okay, so this is Espada Pequeña Mezcal Artisanal. It's from Oaxaca, which is somewhere I've always wanted to go. Um, it's crafted in the heart of Oaxaca by third generation mezcal masters who practice timeless distilling traditions. Okay, Hecho in Mexico, let's try this. And I really like the cork and the noise that just made. Ooh. Sometimes you can smell a mezcal and you can tell it's gonna be a bit sweeter. So here we go. That's more than the vodka that I poured. I'm gonna take a sip and then I'm gonna slam it. If I can figure out how to do this. Oh, and I still have to try those ice creams in the freezer. So, bottoms up, this is what we're trying. Ooh, that one's good. It's sweet, smoky, a little spicy. Yum, this is a fun job. I'll just be here sampling alcohols, but no, this is delicious. Sometimes you have mezcal and it's, it has like a really like alcohol flavor to it which makes you want to like gag that's not here it's sweet and spicy i could easily find myself getting in trouble with this this mezcal for sure okay i have to grab the ice creams out of the freezer one second oh i got a couple things all right i'm back this is why the haul was 250 dollars because i spent like 50 dollars on alcohol um Hold the hold the the dairy non coconut non. These are delicious, and they come in these like little cute. I'll just show you. The packaging is adorable. If you guys saw the macaroon packaging, the peach ones that were from last last week, so cute. Comes in these, and it's tiny, like scale to size. Here's my face. It's my nose. Bun scale to size. It is. Really, they're really good. You gotta open it. And I sampled these before in my car, so I was so excited when Trader Joe's came out with them. And I'm just gonna eat the top off of it because I can't eat the cone, it is gluten, but I will donate the cone to the audience that's watching. There's an audience of my dogs and a human. 
うんうん、and the bottom, for those that are wondering, I believe it does have chocolate in the bottom. Can you confirm if there's chocolate in the bottom? We're getting confirmation that there is or is not chocolate in the bottom. Chocolate's in the bottom of the cone. That's good. We need, to, we need that information. Second up,、um, all of these are non dairy ice creams, by the way. So this, these are. Non dairy coconut. This is a vegan cookies and cream bonbon, which cookies and cream in a bonbon. Oh my goodness. This is a very good haul. Today I'm sampling. These come in like a cute ice cube tray, which I would say you could reuse this plastic as an ice cube tray, but yeah, you could. They'd just be kind of flat because it can't go up too high. But I'm going to throw one off camera. I have to shoot it through the ring loop. Oh my god, I, I made it. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That was real good. I'm gonna put it back in here. Not that I'm gonna eat it, but I need to film what the inside of it looks like for the YouTube page.、Um, and then, last but not least, for the non dairy ice creams, we've got. The strawberry with almond. This is one of the best ones that's non dairy.、Um, kind of went to town on the Thai tea boba one last night. And now we're here. I need a new spoon. Okay. Ice cream samples. Here we go. Someone actually commented, why, why is there always all this ice over the ice cream like, on the container? I didn't have the heart to tell them why, because it's frozen. Mm. This is good because it's like a fresh strawberry flavor. It's so good. I mean, I'm a dairy ice cream flavor person, but if you can't have dairy,、mm. this is a great alternative. alternative. I do recall last year's strawberry ice cream was a bit more strawberry, but maybe my taste buds are off because I just took a shot of vodka and mezcal. That could be why.、Um, okay, so that's everything in this. Oh, wait, no, I also bought these. These hash browns. All you guys are like air frying them and making avocado toast. It, this wouldn't be a staple for me just because I don't love soybean, canola oil, and corn, which are all included in these beautiful hash browns, but I think that's what makes them taste good. So I'm definitely going to try it.、Um, but that's it. This is my haul. I spent a bunch of money, $250, and、um, that was primarily because I got some alcohol. But they're both good alcohols. So let me know what your favorite item is in this haul.、Um, Instagram, I'll chat with you in a second. YouTube, I'll see you next week. Please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel.、Um, and thanks for watching. And tonight's bingo. Bingo is the first Wednesday of every month, 5 30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, hosted on YouTube. You can access the link to my bingo game via my Instagram. So. Instagram. I'll be back. Bye, YouTube.